Um, hey, but, yeah, uh, Avengers, <laughs> X Men, and Eternals uh, squaring off in Marvel's twenty twenty two event. Seems like so. I don't know. I, I think that'll be pretty interesting. I uh, I'm a big fan of Avengers and X Men going at it. Eternals, I could really give two shits about myself. Uh, so maybe they kill all them off real quick or something. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I uh, I will be glad to see uh, the Avengers, X Men, and my selfish self hopes it uh, carries over to the big screen sooner or later. But what's uh, what's your thoughts on it, Wood? I'm excited of one part of that trifecta. I'm not a big Eternals fan. Um, I'm not. I'm definitely not a big X Men fan. Been vocal about that on this channel. Oh, come but on, Brian. I I do like the Avengers, but I'm also excited reading this article and seeing how it plays out. And it, and it looks like they're starting to play it out. You know, coming into the uh, Eternal series and, and starting to build lay the groundwork for it now. If you guys are reading Eternals in the chat, let me know. I am not reading Eternals. Um, How many of y'all have seen the Eternals movie? I wasn't a fan. I think the Eternals movie, yeah, the ending of it kind of ruined how I feel about the Eternals moving forward. Other than the stuff that has been coming out, I've heard that is good. Honestly, I've heard the Eternal stuff that's been coming out in Marvel recently. The comics has been decent. Um. And I just wish they didn't. Their storyline just didn't make a lot of sense. It didn't play out correctly. And then when you find out, like it doesn't matter if they die or not. Like who cares about the ending of that movie? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was different for sure, and not 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 my speed. I'll have to say that. Yeah. So I guess they're they're going to start teasing this in uh, Eternals ten that's coming out in March, pitting the Avengers versus Eternals. And then revealing one of its free comic book titles in May, Avengers for the X Men one shot. So they're going to try to carry it through multiple titles to try to build up the the event. I hope it plays out. I mean, I'm always good for a good event. I I liked War of the Realms. Some people didn't like War of the Realms. It seems like I'm like every third Marvel event series I end up liking, or I start out liking it and hate how it ends, or. Uh, the Carnage one was 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 good, um, but I'm not a big X Men or Eternals fan. But I love the Avengers, and I'm excited to see how this plays out. They do like two or three of these events a year, huh? or kind of like yeah, it's like... tiring. Yeah. Yes. Well, it, it does get tiring, and then if, you know if it doesn't, I. Not, I mean, issue number two comes out tomorrow, so we're not far into it. But I love me some Devil's Reign right now. But then again, I love Chip Zdarsky's Daredevil. So, but yeah, you can, it's apples and oranges. That's what a five, six issue miniseries. You're talking about a, a, a three title crossover event. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and chime in here and be like, Marvel, th this for me is going to be entirely based on the creative teams or creative team or whatever because. Marvel's burnt me out with crossover events. Like literally, when I'm trying to use two of their flagship franchises to pick up that third one that's failing. <laughs> well, you hit it look, on the look, head. Look at Star Wars. I had my hopes set high for Star Star Wars with Marvel, and I thought we were going to be delivered a very fun gem of a ride. Come to find out, I'm still chapped in the rear end with Marvel right now. Be considering you're buying three, four, I don't know, and all the variants books going into that and half the books, it's the exact same story with just different panels. It's like mirrored, like the, almost like the, the verbiage and uh, the lettering is just copy and pasted from issue to issue. Like literally I'm still really pissed about this, that I spent all that money and was so super excited. I'm more pissed at how excited I was and pumped for war of the bounty hunters to then pull out like every other week or every week I'm pulling out an issue Okay, got it. Get to the next issue. I'm like, wait a second. This is almost the same. They had the for like the very <laughs> middle of War of the Bounty Hunters, it was like that, like just plagiarism almost between creative teams. And like I get what Marvel's asking the, the creative teams to do, but they failed miserably. And I'm still really pissed about that. And it's gonna cost me some money on books that I'm not gonna buy. And I'm probably gonna end up wishing I would have bought at cover price on some stuff that's gonna do well, maybe like Tom Roland. You know, he's pining for this stuff to possibly hit the big screen. I'm like, dang it, he's right. That's potential there. And I don't want to I don't want to chase 
60 70 80 dollar books i want to buy cover price books but i'm so chapped right now and still pissed off over war of the bounty hunters and that tie that crossover event that you had a you had three of them from marvel oh no 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 i mean i gotta look at the creative teams i mean seriously it really depends on the creative teams and the writers because if marvel's gonna put you look at star wars they put creative teams on there and then they dictate what these creative teams are doing to a degree and it just killed war of the bounty hunters for me yeah, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't happy with War of the Bounty Hunters for sure. I don't know, but I, I still say the IDW Star Wars stuff is the best. Uh, I have a it, feeling the Marvel thought Eternals was going to be a big hit, and that this crossover event was actually the Eternals supposedly propping up the event for the Avengers and the X Men. <laughs> but because no one gave a shit, it didn't work the way they thought. Because I'm, I'm guessing this stuff is planned way in advance, and. Uh, yeah, I think they just were surprised. But I think that the reason they're doing all these crossover events so frequently is to test storylines for the movies. I'm convinced there's this corporate oh. synergy conspiracy of just like manufacturing story just to for later, not 100%. for us necessarily. I mean, way later though, right? Because like most of this, this I feel like, unless I'm wrong, like storylines in the movies have happened some time back. That would be it'd be a long time for something like this would kind of come out right in like a movie version not necessarily because i think the 10 years of the mcu they've already like pulled out stories up to the aughts already like they already went all the way to they'll marry pulling. some of those stories up just to catch the, the demographic yeah. of old and new yeah i agree it's almost like they're jumping around you know so i'm, I'm kind of with dan on the fact that i think they're just they're testing the waters on a lot of this stuff to see if a character hits, a storyline hits, and if it does, uh, you know, I, I think you'll see it sooner rather than later. Myself, and it's where and Marvel Comics now are using they have they have advertisements again, you know, for products like back in the '90s. Like we haven't seen that in a while. Now now they're having more advertisements again. It's like it makes me wonder, like what what it, they don't have the readership to. I don't understand what's going on. It's it seems so. It baffles me. Like. How are they having adver – who wants to advertise with Marvel? What's going on? I don't know. I feel like there's some secret cabal of, you know. It's almost like practice. It, it really is. It's like they're practicing to see what plays are going to work, what plays aren't, and then they, they go off of that. So uh, I don't know. I think you'll see some real junk uh, coming up and then, you know, might hit on something – here and there, and when they do, I think we'll see it, like I said, sooner rather than later. So it doesn't say who's writing this, though. It doesn't. No, I noticed that, too. I mean, you got Kieran Gillen, you know, writing Eternals. You got Jerry Duggan writing X-Men, and of course, Jason Aaron is writing Avengers. Is it going to be shared? Is going to be, I don't know. I think they could make the X Men Avengers one pretty good. I just don't know how they they fit the Eternals in there and make it worth a damn, to be honest. But we'll wait and see. They messed up, I think, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, but are in the chat. Are you guys excited for Judgment Day? <laughs> There's no fate but what you make. Oh God. I mean, it's got to. You think about it though. Avengers and X Men has to at some point make its way into the MCU on the big screen, right? Well, I mean, people are pining for, for X on that crazy right now. <clears throat> Everyone's yeah. like, they want, that's like, <laughs> yeah, everyone wants that bad. Yeah. 100%. And Avengers is the, the hot thing that everybody, okay, Eternals failed, you know, like, so what do we do? Combine what? Avengers and X-Men? I, I don't know. I think we see that sooner too than people think. I think Avengers X Men, the Avengers AVX might might have been the last semi decent, like event that Marvel has had. When was the last one that was actually really good? I did like War of the Realms. Yeah, War of the Realms. Okay. Oh, I don't know. It's decent. I, I guess I was freaking lost on War of the Realms. I, I a lot of shit. I didn't. I mean. <laughs> And I'm talking main books. I didn't. I, I didn't read all the tie-ins. Yeah, there was a I mean, lot. The tie-ins too. At that, the tie-ins are the most annoying thing out there because it's like there's so many, and it'll just have like one little panel with like someone's foot in it, and it's a tie-in. Yeah. Do you like, you read the tie-ins because they'll put the little word bubble in it? This took place in. <laughs> like, don't give <laughs> yeah. a shit. Moving on. 
Hey, at least it's not DC. You're the villain. Is all I can say. And and is it just me or do those logos suck? I feel like they're so they're already like they don't look right. They already look like from a past time or whatever. Like we're gonna look back on these shit logos. I don't know. Am I the? Did anyone ever mention this? Like the X Men? I hate their new X logo. Awful. That Eternals logo is total trash. Not mem. I can't even remember it right now. I can't like even. An old remember Internet Explorer it. logo. I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, these are terrible logos. That's surprising to me. What what if they are trying to like they're trying <laughs> to figure out a way <laughs> they're trying to figure out a way to bring the X Men into the MCU yeah. this way? That's what I'm saying. Like I, I feel it. Like it's it's they're they're doing this for a reason. I um and I think yeah. they've had a lot of people probably asking for it. I mean. No, I'm uh, you know people that are yeah they're trying to the bit you know that they got it figured out they're just slow milking it yeah or as McClay would just said 